of the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Oh, yeah. It's all about the crack. Let's TNT. get cracking. TNT. I'm, my voice isn't going this morning. I don't have it. Oh, it's I, not mine. I hear it. You yeah, I don't have my welcome. <laughs> you, you, you and your throat have a hard night last night? There's a... <laughs> yeah, you was doing a lot of throat exercises. Oh, what was throat, you doing? I was had a, such a I had a, such a hard throat night. <laughs> you know how that goes. <laughs> typical typical Tuesday. <laughs> a hard throat night. Oh, sorry guys, my throat's throat's <laughs> off today. Um, <laughs> so I could keep this going for yeah, forever, I could, but I'm not. I'm be happy to keep my throat talk going for hours. I'm going to refrain. Just let, I'm going to let it die. Did you say Laura Frank? No, I said well, I'm going to refrain. No, refrain. I, I appreciate that. I mean, yeah. not really. It's fine either way. All right. Uh, so TNT. What? If you were a principal of a school, which I'm not, but if I, I were, I mean, I want I want you to put this hat on. Okay. okay. I think I'd like be like like the one to lean on me or like. I was going to say, would you be the <laughs> lean on me principal? Or would yeah. you be like, the, the or like, like a Coach Carter or something? Oh yeah, like all the kids are like, oh TNT, and they're all like coming out and high fiving you and stuff, and then yeah. like, and then you have like some tragedy that strikes, and the students oh, all like, God. and the students all like band together to like help you out. Yeah, I finally get like one of the high school jocks to start caring about his academics, and like his little sister gets shot or something. Yeah, yeah, there's a shooting at the school, and like so he's got- like, I gotta go get retribution. I'm like, no, young man. Yeah, yeah, you like, you're like a. Uh, Trey's dad and Boys in the Hood, and you're like, yes. you're like, no, this isn't gonna be what you do. Oh, Disney, cast me. Yeah, yeah, I've, I need, saw you in a Disney flick. We need some 2023 black exploitation movies. Wow, is that what happens? I mean, you know, money's money, Jonas. Oh wow, what kind of money do you want? <laughs> the green kind, the kind uh, that Disney has. <laughs> the Disney green. I Can respect I get that them. Disney green, that so, green green, what, what, that Diz Diz. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, so yeah. if you, if I were a principal, I feel like I would do a good job at one. Okay, that has something to do with this, but no. So, so if okay. you were a principal, sure, and you had control over like all the money, you uh-huh. know, and then Elon Musk messages you. Okay, this is getting weird. And is like, hey, if you give me a hundred thousand dollars of the school's funds, yes, I will return you back six million dollars. That sounds insane to me. Yeah, but you're I, not talking to him. You're talking to his assistant. I'm talking to Elon Musk's assistant. Yeah, who's okay. gonna? He's gonna take the school's 100k and get, make it six million. I have my I hand. Ra- have my, have my hand raised. Like, like we're in school. Yeah. Yes. Yes. TNT. My, I have my hand. Ra- okay. Question? Um. Yes. Um. Why is Elon Musk's assistant contacting me, a principal of a school? Because he wants to help out your institution. He wants to take $100,000 and turn it into $6 million All right, for yeah, you. I'm going to put, put my hands okay. back up again. Do you have a question? Yes, I have another question. Okay. But that doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> wait, wait a second. What do you mean that doesn't make a lot of sense? Um, it, I'm going to put my hand up again. I just wanted to say it's like I don't think that Elon Musk would contact the principal of a school to ask them for money. It doesn't make a lot of sense. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah, and this went on. It went on for four months before she gave him the money, though. Oh, oh, so he kept asking. That's, I guess, or maybe he just was like sweet talking her for four months you know, you know about what? how smart she is. It's funny, man. I was just having a conversation with my mother the other day, and I was like, you know what I hate about billionaires? They're always asking for money. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Me and mom just sitting around drinking some coffee, right. talking about how billionaires are always asking people for money. <laughs> right? Just They're get my always... phone rings. It's Bill Gates. Hey, buddy, can I get yeah. can I get a hundred bucks? Yeah. And I'm like. You know, Billy, I got you, buddy. Just Bezos, uh, the Gates. Yeah, between Bezos Beast. and Bates and Beast and freaking Elon, they're all at my doorstep every morning. All four of them yeah, knocking can, on your bedroom door. It's like that song by Sugar Ray. Can we, can we just get five dollars TNT? I'm like, God dang yeah. it, you millionaires! Every morning there's a billionaire banging on my corner of my bed. That's the song, right? <laughs> the greatest Sugar Ray rendition I've ever <laughs> so, heard in my life. So he, I'm glad you, you did that. Know what, uh, what was he her committed. name? Doctor, she's a doctor. She has a PhD. Nope. Nah, she doesn't need... Nope. You Dr. need to take Jane that McGee. under review. Here, 
she had a quote about all of this. Mm -hmm. She said, I am a very smart lady. Uh -huh, well sure. educated. Mm. I fell for a scam. <laughs> mm -mm. That's it. Very, very eloquently said. She used her $3 words to speak. I am a very smart lady. I am a very smart lady. Well educated. I, I fell for, for a scam. scam. Couldn't, couldn't have said it more beautifully myself. I am a very smart lady. Says the PhD. Two statements trying to essentially say I'm not stupid. I promise then, you I'm not then stupid. The second time, I promise I'm not stupid. But I'm stupid. But I'm stupid. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's like. It's like AT and T. Uh, you know, uh, Katy Perry hit me up and she wants to go on a date. Oh, but dude. I got a flyer here, so she needs I the got money. A flyer here. It's part she, of the. Con I want a contest. Yeah, she needs like 10k so she can fly here because she's in Tasmania and there's only one flight a day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But she wants to go on a date with me, TNT. I got to pick her up at the airport. Like, why do you have to give her the money? Oh, I need to prove that I'm I'm a real person. I need to prove to her that I want it. <laughs> She needs it. Dude, that ish happens, though. That ish happens. And honestly, I kind of feel like that may have happened to her. Maybe she thought that she was, like, talking to Elon on Twitter or something. And Dude, I don't... <sighs> There's a bunch of fake Elon accounts out there, man. So maybe she, she got wrapped, wrapped into the Twitter I world. I just can't... Like, and that's the thing. Like, that lady was educated. She has a PhD. Mm-hmm. And and that's like the same as like people like falling for like wild ass conspiracy theories that are like super educated and like it's just like I know you're not stupid. How does that not like just slightly trigger your like something's off? Your uncanny valley sense just kind of uh, something honestly makes me wonder how close I could be to like joining a cult. You know? Yeah, or getting like scammed for your life savings or something. Yeah, like. yeah, because I like, I mean, I grew up in like a religious household and like, you know, by by definition, I guess Christianity is, it it is kind of like a cult, is it not? I mean, like any, any like group who worships something that like you don't have like concrete finite proof that was existent like i guess even if you exist like i mean if like all of a sudden i made a group that like worship bill gates that's kind of a cult right all right so the definition uh, in the dictionary is a system of religious veneration and devotion directed towards a particular figure or object i mean that's, that's any religion that sounds like just about any religion but obviously there's a uh, a little difference. A relatively small group of people having religious beliefs or practices regarding regarded by others as strange or sinister. Oh, since that's, so since like talking about Jesus is normal, then that's then nobody gets like yes called yeah. out on that one. Or a misplaced or excessive admiration for a particular person or thing. And I think that's that is also indicative of most religions as well. Um, well, yeah, because everyone's worshiping one figure, whether exactly. it's like Jesus or Muhammad or B Buddha or whatever. You said that. Speak your name when you say his name in public. <laughs> Whose name? <laughs> Who's? The, the prophet. JC's? <laughs> talking about. Uh, no, I just don't want you to get like Iran when they invade. I don't want them messing with you. Iran? Yeah. Oh, no. What are they doing? What do you mean? What are what they doing? With Iran? We Did know what they be doing. They're coming? Yeah. I mean, look, man. They're coming to get you. I'm just saying, you know, the world's looking kind of crazy out there, Jonas. I'm not. I'm not in a cult. All I of a sudden, I'm gonna walk outside, and in the country of Iran's gonna be just hanging out, like standing there, like, hey, just be prepared. All right, you never just know. Be ready for any sort of you never takeover. know. You never know. But yeah, like, uh, so don't. If somebody like that, you. That's why I never understood like the whole, the whole rip off get being ripped off thing is like, if it's. If it's that too good to be true, like why if it would it too good to be true? It is. It is too. Good I mean, to I true. even like get skeptical of like if I like too attractive of a girl is interested in me. I'm like, <laughs> oh well, yeah, duh. Yeah, I'm like, wait, uh -huh. is this like Elon trying to ask me for a million dollars? Or it's, it sound like a lineup. Sound like you're gonna take her to the hotel and then there's gonna be three guys in the closet. Yeah, then they are going to come out of the closet at the same time. Yep. And then and Lord knows what's going to happen after that. I mean, one thing is definitely worse. <laughs> Hopefully you just lose your money. Yeah. All right? Yeah, exactly. Because if you lose something else, 
You can't get that what, back. I don't know what else you would lose, but that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make you guys sure coming out the closet. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Make uh make sure you go to subscribe for Jonas. Do you think? Yep. Crazytown.com. Go.